What's up, bee fishing family? Today we're going to talk about my kayak. We're actually in the backyard, and I'm going to do a series on from bow to stern on different parts of it to maybe help you guys out on things that you may want to add to your kayaks. Um, YouTube helped me out a lot in the beginning on getting different ideas. A lot I straight up did exactly what I saw on YouTube. Some it gave me an idea to sort of morph it into my own thing. So that's what I'm trying to do for you guys. So this is starting the series. All right, so this is going to probably be the longest video because we are focused on this back section. And as you can see, most of the action is in this back section. Um, the electronics were pretty cool up at the front, but most of the build is in this back section. So we're gonna talk about the crate. We're gonna talk about the PVC work for extra rod holders. Um, and I'm even gonna include, I mean, everybody knows what a, what a kayak wheels are. Um, and I've got some wheels down there that I use to help haul, haul this thing around. So let's get right into it. We're gonna start with my crate. Um, it's just a simple crate. I'll put a link in the description below. It actually came with two when I ordered it off Amazon. Um, the only modifications I've really made to it are I've put some of these eye holes in the back um, and I'll explain what those are a little later. Um, I've strapped this three inch PVC in here. I always carry some extra leashes and D-rings, probably too many D-rings. But essentially what my crate is made, <laughs> it holds, it holds all my trays of lures, um, some soft plastics, uh, extra line uh, if I need some leader and I keep all that strapped in if I were to flip so none of this not all of it goes out I just zigzag this you know bungee cord uh, through there and I'll un zigzag it when I start fishing just to have ease of access the crate is strapped down uh, I use some nice little small bungees and I actually put them in these tabs where this the big bungee uh, the bungee cord that comes with the kayak is zigzagged through there so you can strap stuff down um, I use those on both sides to strap it down. I also strap it to my um, my PVC work, these rod holders back here, so that crate is not going anywhere. Um, the zigzag bungee that comes with the thing actually helps. If you can see this, I've, I've looped it through the front right up here, back across, looped it over this rod holder, so that rod holder, it ain't, it's not going anywhere. Um, it's also included in that loop with the bungee that holds the crate on. So that is my crate. Um, if I am fishing on a creek, uh, a river with fast moving water, and I'm at all concerned about losing rods, combos, what have you, I've got these leashes. I've got three of them, one, two, and three. And I showed you those eye holes earlier and what they do, they just clip in like so. And then I can use my bigger carabiners. It's probably not a good place. Right here on my rods. Um, and then my rods are... Well, this one's going to be a little more difficult. Let's just play along and say that's clipped. Uh, and right here. And now if I were to flip, they may fall out, but I have not lost a rod reel combo. Um, I've just got them pretty wet. What took the most work is measuring out all of this PVC. I don't have the exact measurements I used on everything. I'm sure I could take it apart and measure it for you guys. Unfortunately, I have PVC cemented most every piece um, with the exception of one, just in case I need to break it in half. But the biggest hint I could, I could give you guys, this is all one and a half inch PVC. Um, I could have gone bigger, but it seemed like that was a good snug fit for all of the stuff. I didn't really need to go bigger. Uh, I didn't want to go any heavier than I had to because this was already heavy enough. Um, I did put some cross members. I've got five cross members just in case. This guy actually, because obviously I do some GoPro work, I've got a GoPro mount that I mounted on there. I normally don't carry this. You probably never see me use views of this, but I have a nice little way to just 
have this be up and be over my shoulder we're going to pretend that that goes in and it just it it that would work um however i don't really use that so it normally just stays stays down but essentially the hardest part was one and a half inch pvc will not um easily or comfortably fit all the way in to the existing rod holders so let me unclip this and i'll show you the way i got around that and get this out of the way when I pull this up, you'll notice it goes to a one inch PVC with a coupler on it. So I've got this one inch to a one and a half inch coupler right here. And then I've got a coupler for one inch just to give me this width, this extra width. It's not a full one and a half inch PVC size. It's just a little bit of extra width. So that fits down in there. And when I get right there, you'll see it is just completely flush right at the edge and it makes it where that does not rock it's a nice snug fit in there but it's an i mean it's just enough room so it's a one inch to one inch coupler that i have there to give me that extra width hey okay, from that one inch a um, little bitty piece right here just a very small piece for that from that one inch to one inch coupler to a one inch to a one and a half inch coupler to these 45s which then sends me to these guys i did a 45 because i needed the upward slope it's the perfect size to fit this uh crate in the middle of it which also keeps it from sliding around um i'm, I'm really proud of the pvc work on this um even though it does add a little bit of extra weight i haven't painted it or anything yet um but it's it just makes it where i can carry the gear i need um i'm already over engineer everything anyway so why not go all out on this thing? Um, you don't necessarily have to do this full design, um, but I would recommend if you're gonna do PVC work, at minimum, do the back three and just do a long long pull up. But why not have those just in case? Um, I did add some extra length with these, um, just so I don't rock around so much because it left a lot of room, so it just snugs that part up. Um, so just an extra one and a half inch extension. This one and a half inch extension, I do have a cap on down here, um, and that's just to have a nice firm seat. And I did aim, obviously, for this middle middle little rail down here. I did not go with uh, scupper hole wheels. I went with um, just the regular sit on top, and I used that, that uh, the cam band straps just around those. I clipped those in, and that's how I drag it everywhere. I mean, that's my setup. If you've ever been curious about modifying your kayaks, that's these are the things i would uh consider thanks everybody for watching this video on my pelican enforcer 100 angler um, whether it been the midsection of the boat the front of the boat with all the electronics the anchor trolley the back of the boat with the crate or the pvc work i really hope you enjoyed it i hope it gives you some ideas on what to do with your boat if you like this video, smash that like button for me. Let me know what's going on. If, if, you, if you like it, don't like it, leave me a comment in the section below. I want to know where you're from. Um, it'd be really cool to see what part of the country everybody's from or what part of the world. Um, just give me a shout out in that comment section. And as always, if you want more content, hit the subscribe button below. Um, that'd be super helpful as we grow this channel and you can join the Bee Fishing family. But hey, for now, I got to get back inside. The sun's going down. I hope you enjoyed it for bee fishing. We'll catch you guys next time.